This video is going to be helpful for those of you who are planning to study early so that they don't have to go for a drop year. That uh, one month, two weeks, two weeks, one week, you should start your prop oriented study by October. So the aim is in third year, we have to deal with our prof exams, the medicine syllabus that is expected of you, at least in your professional exams during your postings itself. So you'll get free time, then utilize uh, that free time, let's say a month in doing two more units. Yeah. So that way you'll have around 40 to 50% of your syllabus exactly. covered. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll talk about what should be your study strategy for NEET PG if you are in your third year of MBBS. Now, myself, Dr. Rishabh Jain, I am a radiology faculty at PW Medet, and with me is Dr. Oishika, who is an open gynae faculty at PW Medet. So, welcome, Oishika. Thank you, Rishabh. So, in today's session, we are going to talk about what to do if you are in your third year and if you are targeting your NEET PG. So, for that, let's look at the breakdown of the subject that you have to study starting from your third year. So, third year may we have one very huge subject, which is PSM, and then you have FMT. OFTA and ENT, relatively smaller subjects. Then in your final year, it is a huge, very, very busy year. You have four major subjects, PEDS, Medicine, Surgery and OBG. And then you have the SARPO subjects. You have Psychiatry, Derma, Ortho, Anesthesia and Radiology. All minors, usually the questions are included in the paper of the major subjects itself. And after that is the crux time when people actually start preparing for their NEET PG which is during the internship or post internship. But with internship, I know a lot of you are in colleges where the internship is very, very hectic and that does not leave you for a lot of time to study. So this video is going to be helpful for those of you who are planning to study early so that they don't have to go for a drop year. So let's talk about the third year subjects. So the aim is in third year, we have to deal with our prof exams and also our clinical posting start in the major subjects that are there in the final year, namely uh, medicine, surgery, peds and uh, OBG. So for your prof exams, what do you need to do? So if you talk about your uh, professional year for the third year subjects itself, uh, even for your NEET PG preparation barring PSM, they do not take a lot of time. Yeah. But for your prof exams, you have 100 paper exams, no matter how small or large the subject is, the weightage is the same and you need to pass all of them and you have a 50-50 uh, you know, uh, distribution of your theory as well as practical. So it won't just do to you know look at your videos because they are mostly MCQ oriented. We also need to have a strategy for preparing for our professional exams. So if we talk about how much dedicated time each of these subjects take, if we talk about PSM, ek pura mahina aapko lagana hi padega PSM ke liye. For OFTA and ENT, two weeks will suffice. And for FMT, short and sweet, one week is sufficient if you put your all into it. And with this time frame, you can actually build on your concepts also, not just mug up for your exams. Yeah, and this uh, two month, two weeks, one month, two weeks, one month breakup, is for prof oriented studies, right? Yeah. So let's say if you have your exam in December or January, so what Oishika is saying that one month, two weeks, two weeks, one week, you should start your prof oriented study by October. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So if your exams are in December, then by October, you have to leave everything else and just get into preparation for your professional exams. Because uh, I know the importance uh, of it in the larger scheme of things does not seem to be a lot more, but at that time it is a very daunting thing and we do need to pass our profs. So, so uh, and uh, also in our third year, since uh, as you mentioned that the prof oriented studies start, you know, two to three months before the exam. So you have around six to seven months for building your concepts and also cover a little bit part of your fourth year subject. And this is very, very important because one year for all these subjects is actually a very short amount of yeah. time. And then your very hectic internship starts. And even if you plan to start studying in your post internship, you know, there's a huge gap between final year and starting post internship. If you are conceptually not sound, then a lot of things may seem lost when you start over again. Yeah. So in your third year, the idea is to study according to your postings. And that is what is uh, that is what Oishka will tell. So if we talk about medicine, for example, aim a, medicine is a vast subject, yeah. very important subject. So aim uh, to cover around 40 to 50 percent of the medicine syllabus that is expected of you, at least in your professional exams during your postings itself. Right, because you see it, you read it, it just uh, assimilates better. So aim to finish uh, subtopics like recipe, neuro, cardio, nephro, 
and endo is quite interesting you can try uh, reading that as well so 40 to 50 percent of the and this is a major chunk of medicine if you cover this you are golden at least for your prof yeah you just need to like just sort of reinforce it in the coming year right and with this because 50 percent uh weightage is for your practicals please also go through whatever clinical manual that is being followed in your college for medicine and this is where the importance of your seniors comes in they will guide you regarding aapke college mein aapke kaun se professor kis book ko refer karte hain uh, ask them for previous years professional university exams they will tell you what are the most frequently asked questions yeah. because you know uh आप दो हफ्ते लगा के ऑफ था ई एन टी पढ़ रहे हो इट इज यू नीड टू नो हाउ मच टाइम टू इन्वेस्ट पर टॉपिक बिकॉज टू वीक्स एक्चुअली अगर आप पूरा हफ्ता पढ़ने बैठो टू वीक्स इज इनसफिशियंट बट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वेरी वेरी सिलेक्टिव स्टडी वेन इट कम्स टू प्रॉफ या एंड वॉट वी मीन बाय अराउंड फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द सिलेबस दिस इज नॉट अ पोस्टिंग टारगेट लेट से यू हैव अ वन मंथ पोस्टिंग इन मेडिसिन ऑब्वियसली टू कवर complete respiratory neurocardio in these uh, one month in this one month will be difficult especially if you're a third year mbba of students and you don't have a background of concepts so the idea is to let's say uh, if you have one month of medicine posting at least complete one major uh, topic let's say cardio is a very big unit and uh, you know do it with a smaller unit for example respi right so you have done two units in one posting then you'll have a light posting yeah. let's say you have psychiatry or you have an elective So you'll get free time. Then utilize uh, that free time, let's say a month, in doing two more units. Yeah. So that way you'll have around forty to fifty percent of your syllabus yeah, exactly. covered. And uh, aim to at least uh, study all of the major subjects from your clinical manuals because you don't know what you're going to get for your end posting. It just may not be cardio, right? So at least from the clinical manuals, you should have studied all the subjects. But if we talk about the nitty gritty is going into the theory. uh use the standard textbooks plus whatever coaching videos that you follow that you have and that will help you through the rest of the year also help you build a base so that final year does not seem that scary yeah uh, and uh, now the second question come comes uh, where to read this thing from so uh, i would say that pick up a standard textbook and watch coaching videos now i know uh, all of you just watch coaching videos and that is fine uh, you know that is sort of a generational shift between us and you guys and there is nothing wrong with it to be frank Uh, but what i'll say is that uh, if you're watching coaching videos at least watch them after you have read either the coaching notes or standard textbooks you know because what it will do is it will save your time if you watch a video and then read the notes it will take you another time to watch the videos again and so, something that is very very important on the topic of notes is make your own notes they are i mean you think it's just for third year it's not just for third year this is something that you will utilize even well into your pg at times yeah. so these are very important this will help you in your prep try to make your own notes because when the shop says standard textbooks i mean the standard textbook for medicine is harrison nobody is going to go through a harrison again or nobody is going to go through a one one and a half hour lecture again before the exams so make your own notes yeah and do this for surgery as well do this for obg as well uh, a good idea is to you know complete around 40 to 50% of your major clinical subject in a uh, in a third year so let's say cover around 40, uh, 40 to 50% of obg in third year 40 to 50% of gynae in third year and you know this is sort of achievable and i'm not asking you to do minors i'm just asking you to do three major subjects obg medicine and surgery because you know doing this in the next year a to z will become a very big task yeah i mean even if you do not actively try to complete 40 to 50% of each subject if you attend your clinical postings regularly the variety of cases that you will see and you will be forced to read up because you know you can get anything in your end posting even if you just read up those parts you will end up uh, covering near about 25 to 30% of your syllabus yeah for example if you are attending obg posting you will see cases of gestational diabetes mellitus uh, pregnancy induced hypertension rhi humanization anemia in pregnancy Uh, you will see how to conduct a normal delivery so you will re- read a playbook and you know these things also cover sort of 25 to 30 percent of the major chunk of that subject yeah. so you know so uh, you will be able to study for theory also as well as practical so the idea is to study posting wise that is the golden rule right now uh, in this journey in your third year preparation there are some deliverables which uh, which are there from pw medet to help you in uh, your studies so uh, we have launching the sushrut 2.0 O batch. So this is the second edition of the Shushrut batch, and this is the third year live batch. So these are not recorded videos, by the way. These are live videos. This is a live batch, one to one batch, in which you can directly ask your doubts 
इन द चैट बॉक्स वाइल द टीचर इज टीचिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक इलेवंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ में जैसे पढ़ाते थे तो दिस इज टारगेटेड टूवर्ड्स द थर्ड ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट्स हु आर गिविंग देयर थर्ड प्रॉफ एंड आल्सो इट विल बिल्ड अप कंसेप्ट्स एंड फाउंडेशन फॉर फोर्थ ईयर सब्जेक्ट्स और रिलेटेड टू नीट पीजी आईएनएसीटी और एफएमजी डिपेंडिंग अपॉन व्हिच एग्जाम यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सो इट विल कम कवर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ दीस थ्री मेन एग्जाम्स कवर बोथ थ्योरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट्स सो फॉर एग्जांपल योर एंड पोस्टिंग वाइवा व्हिच विल हैव लेट्स से केसेस ऑफ हाउ टू how to evaluate a thyroid nodule or or to how to do a, a per abdominal examination in surgery so these sort of things will also be covered in this live kushrut batch uh, it will have fourth year foundation clinical subjects so lectures from uh, obstetrics and gynecology medicine and surgery will also be included in this kushrut batch and an overall of 300 plus live lectures will be covered in this one year of kushrut batch right now this will have daily practice papers also so as to help you practice what you are reading and what is being taught and the pdf of each of the lectures will be available on the uh, pw medet notes uh, notes group now in addition you will have access to subject wise test and topic wise test as well so what is the schedule the idea is to have around 4 uh, days uh, of classes per week for third year subject and in between there will be few classes for fourth year subjects as well which are more or practically oriented classes right so uh, for example cardiovascular system examination in medicine neuro system examination in medicine approach to a headache approach to jaundice for example in obs and gynae how to uh, do an obstetric examination per abdomen examination how to take an obstetric history uh, approach to a patient with gestational diabetes mellitus so these sort of uh, these sort of topics will be covered in this uh, batch now uh, i'm sure you all of you know the third year faculties uh, who will be taking your live batches so in ofsa we have dr sudha sitaram uh, sitaram in psm dr ashwini ranjan in ent dr sanjit bajpai and in forensic medicine dr manjuna and in finally prof uh, final year faculty for obvin gaini we have oishika uh, for surgery we have dr sandeep and for medicine we have dr santosh now few faqs which i think uh, uh, many of students will have if this is a pre or a paid batch so it is a paid batch and the classes will be held on the pw medet app so it is a live batch on the pw medet app and the class notes will be provided as i told you and the tentative timeline to complete this is november this year so it will be completed by november of 2025 so that's all from our side now, this was our uh, guidance to you for third year mbbs how to study in third year mbbs uh, i hope you got some insights and this will really help you streamline your preparation for third prof fourth prof and subsequently neat pg in inicit that's all from our side thank you happy studying